So I have entered what we solved for y for the one equation in y1. So x plus 1 over 2. And then I have entered the left side of the equation in y2. That was x plus x times x plus 1 over 2. But I'm using function notation. That means y1 of x. Go grab what I wrote in y1 of x and substitute in here. Is that what it, is what it means? Plus y1 of x. So it was x plus xy plus y. And the and then for y3, I'm I wrote the other side of the equation. That's and which was y1, or it was really it said y squared. So to go and grab the y value, y1 of x is up in y1 squared. Now I could use solve the using graphically. So I'm gonna deactivate the first one, which is hit f4. And then look at the graph. So diamond F3. And see where the two intersect. Okay, it looks like they're going to intersect in two places there. Um, if I just do sum standard, that's F2, choice number six, I think it'll just fit in a regular window. And I can use my... Um, grapher, calc intersect, and go from there. Or I could go to the home button and use the solver. So go to F2, solve. Now, if it's a trig function, you don't want to do this. You just want to do it graphically. It's much faster, much easier. But if it's like this, we're going to take and set y2, because that's where I put the left side of the equation, equal to y1, or excuse me, y3, so y3 of, don't forget to use function notation, and I want a comma, solve for x, and then enter, and it'll give me the values. Um, there are the exact valued answers, or you can write decimals. Decimals would be fine here, because it says to use your calculator, so it's negative, um, it's negative 1.71, and negative 5.828.